most of us imagine mermaids as beautiful women with tails adorned with scales. Although unbelievable, many sailors from various parts of the world claim to have seen these beings with their own eyes. To what extent can these testimonies be taken seriously? Stories about mermaids have circulated around the world for centuries. They have been talked about practically since the first ship set sail. While most stories about various sea creatures are likely invented or exaggerated, some cannot be easily explained. Says contemporary British mystery researcher Rupert Matthews, adding, The oceans of our planet are so vast that it is quite possible for creatures to live in them that have not yet been discovered and described. Will the extents of mermaids, known so far only from fairy tales, soon be definitively confirmed? Throughout history, numerous people have claimed to witness mermaids. As early as the first century AD, the Roman warrior and philosopher Plinius the Elder wrote about women with scaly bodies who sit on dolphins or seahorses. Four centuries later, an unknown author in Greece included in a book called Physiologus, a section dedicated to the nature of mermaids, and wrote the following. In the sea, there are many wonders. The mermaid is like a woman. She has breasts and a woman's body. However, from the navel down, she does not look like a woman. Rather, she resembles a fish with a fin. Are all these accounts just fiction? Or is there some truth to them? The Jewish scholar Shlomo Yitzchaki is said to describe mermaids in the Talmud as well. He writes, In the sea, there are fish that appear half human and half fish. Why would Yitzchaki write something like this if he did not believe in it himself? In 1389, the work Expedition of John of Hessen on the Journey to the East was published, in which the author also addressed the existence of mermaids, notes American journalist Stieber. The book mentions the danger the expedition faced when, at one moment, they sailed around a rocky mountain where the songs of sirens luring them into danger could be heard. Can we insist that this is a real event? In 1493, the famous Genoese navigator and discoverer of America, Christopher Columbus, claims to have seen three mermaids leaping out of the sea. They are not as beautiful as in paintings, although they resemble people in their faces. I have seen similar creatures off the coast of West Africa, he writes in his ship's log. How can we explain this record? British explorer Henry Hudson claims that during a voyage across the Bering Sea to northern Norway sometime between 1570 and 1611, a certain member of his crew spotted a mermaid. He called another sailor to look at her as well. According to his testimony, the creature approached the ship and began examining the sailors. Shortly afterward, the current turned her around. Her body allegedly resembled a human. She had light skin and long dark hair, states American journalist Stieber, adding that when she dove, the sailors reportedly saw her tail, which reminded them of a dolphin's tail but was spotted like a mackerel's tail. In the mid-19th century, this mysterious incident was investigated by the British naturalist Philip Henry Goss. In his opinion, it is not possible to be satisfied with the explanation that sailors mistook, for example, walruses or seals for mermaids, as skeptics usually claim. Sailors were well acquainted with these animals. So, if the two men did not make up the story for which they had no reason, they must have seen a creature unknown until then, Goss states. In the following years, testimonies continued to emerge from people who claimed to have seen mermaids with their own eyes. Some of them reportedly did not see them directly, but instead heard strange, loud sounds coming from the water during calm weather, and without any apparent explanation. Reports of this phenomenon are available from practically all over the world. Naval veterans often lean towards classic explanations, such as mermaids. However, more practical-minded men believe that the sounds were caused by some peculiar resonance of ships with metal hulls, notes British mystery scientist Simon Welfare. The origin of the loud, persistent, and highly variable concerts, which many sailors still cannot explain to this day, has not been successfully uncovered in all cases, warns contemporary British journalist John. Skeptics question all evidence of the existence of mermaids. According to them, testimonies from ancient times are mere legends and myths, while sailors in later periods might have experienced hallucinations, made mistakes, or fabricated everything. But how do we explain the case from 2009 when dozens of witnesses from the Israeli town of Kiryat Yam on the coast of the Mediterranean Sea claim to have seen a mermaid? At one moment we spotted a woman sunbathing on the beach. At least that's what it looked like at first glance. As soon as we called out to her she jumped into the water and disappeared. 
What was most startling about it all was that, instead of legs, we saw a tail, says one of the witnesses, Shlomo Cohen. In 2012, authorities in Zimbabwe also claimed that mermaids were pursuing workers at dams in several different areas. What do you think? Do these testimonies from various periods and corners of the world have a basis in truth? Could mythical mermaids really be true? Whether you're a skeptic or a believer in the mysteries of the sea, one thing is certain. These fascinating mermaid stories compel us to consider the possibility that beneath the ocean's surface, there might be something that has yet to fully reveal its existence to us. That's all from us for today. If you're interested in videos filled with mysterious mysteries, dark stories, legends, or monsters, and you crave more, subscribe to our channel so you won't miss any new videos.